time has arrived for you to begin moonwalking. Today, I'm gonna give you a couple tips on how to become a professional moonwalker. You may notice that the shoes are a little heavy when you take them out of the box, but once you have them on your feet, you barely notice them. You're gonna to wanna to charge the shoes completely before you use them. The first step is powering on your moonwalkers. The power button is located on the back of each shoe. You wanna lay them flat on the ground so that they can pair to each other. You'll know that they're paired when the blinking white light turns solid. This means they're in lock mode. When putting on the shoe, it's easiest to do this sitting down. Start with the back strap first. Make sure all the straps are loosened and place the ball of your foot on the hinge of the shoe and secure the straps on top of your foot. The trick is to keep your feet in the center of the shoes. Your toes should not be hanging off and your feet should not be too far backward. We suggest practicing your long heel to toe strides in lock mode so that you can see if everything's strapped on correctly. It may take some time to get used to the additional height and weight of the shoes, but once you're walking normally, you won't even be able to tell the flow of your feet. When you're ready to walk full speed, put the moonwalkers in shift mode by lifting and swiveling your heel. From there, just walk normally. Try to make your step as smooth as possible and remember that the heel to toe motion is what's gonna make you go forward. Don't drag your heels and just keep walking until it feels completely natural. It often takes about 30 minutes to an hour to get used to your moonwalkers. So if you're having trouble, don't be discouraged. Here's a few ways that you can find your step. Use a friend, use a walker, use some ski poles or use a railing. If you find something that works for you, share it with our community. Just as you need to break in a pair of running shoes, you need to break in your moonwalkers. We recommend wearing them around your neighborhood and gradually increasing the time that you spend walking in them to get used to the speed in public. Now that we're outside, it's important to walk in circles, figure eights, on sidewalks and other urban surfaces. The moonwalkers are built to handle tough cracks, puddles and grass, but remember, you're the pilot and the shoes only move when you move. To maintain speed, walk with a forward lean. It's tempting to want to look down at your feet, but think about it. When you're walking, you rarely look at your feet. So just keep your head up and look in the direction that you're walking. Also, when you're making turns, don't cross your feet. To slow down, shorten your steps and reduce your pace. Remember to continue leaning forward until the shoes have completely stopped. To rapidly stop moving, put one foot in front of the other and stop moving. The shoes will come to a complete stop. If you have any other questions about taking your first steps in the world's fastest shoes, drop a comment and one of our dedicated support engineers will help you get up to speed.